Hello, this is uh, Karen from webshopapps.com and today I'm going to give you a demo of uh, product matrix again. Um, this time I'm going to focus on um, highest price totaling and also how it works with configurable products and how it might help you. Um, what I've got here is I've got um, artwork, so we've got canvases and they come in different sizes. Um, we've got small, medium, large and extra large. Um, and what we want to do here is we want to say, okay, take the highest shipping price um, of the largest canvas in the basket. And then for any other canvases, we just want to add on a little bit more. So let's have a look at the CSV file and just see how the pricing works. Okay, let's concentrate on these four lines initially. So we've got the different sizes of canvases in here, as different package IDs, different shipping groups. Um, and then we've got their initial price. So if you just had one small in the car, then you would get charged $14.50. If you had one extra large in the car, you would get charged 33 now where the highest price totaling comes in is what we can say here is we can say charge the highest of these four prices. So if you say you had the large in the cart, you get charged $24. So that works really well if that's all you want to do. And you just leave this algorithm field clear. But what, what if you want to just add on an extra charge if there's other items in the cart? So say I bought two large. Well what you can do here is you can say I equals $8.50. And what you're actually saying there is... For any additional large items in the cart that don't don't hit this criteria, then what we're going to do is add on eight dollars fifty. So if we put two large, then the price on that is going to be thirty two fifty. Likewise, if we say bought a medium and a small, then it's going to pick up that this is the highest price, and it's going to charge you the the three dollars here. So it's going to be twenty one dollars. But if you took the medium out of the cart, then it revert back to the small. So it'd be fourteen dollars fifty plus the three. Let's just have a look at it in action because it will make some more sense then hopefully. So let's add it, let's try it with a medium. Okay, so what we've got here is one medium in the cart and the, the price standard is $18. So it's picking up on that price there. So let's change that to two. Okay, so now it's gone up to 23, which is 18 plus 5. Now one thing to bear in mind here is that I've still kept it very, very simple. So there's no filtering on destination here, which you can add in. There's no filtering on weight, price, or number of items. So if, for instance, if you wanted to, say, after five items, push the price down, then you'd simply put another line in here. And then you'd, you could add that feature in. So you you would copy this line. And then you would you would you would say here naught to five five to star then chart and then ch and then charge a different price. It still could be eighteen for the first one, but you might might say well actually I'm going to charge less. And you you do it like that. So it's very easy to expand this. Let's take that out for the time being. Right. Another thing that you might want to show is when you ship locally, you might want to say actually I don't want to charge by these highest price rules. I just want to charge a flat rate across all of my products. So the extension can cater for that as well. So here what we're saying is, if you're shipping to California, then just charge a flat rate of $12.50. Now the minus one actually gets rid of showing this rate, because it matches on the delivery type. So let's try that in the cart. There you go. So you've now got standard rate $12.50. And if we add in a different item, then the price for that is still going to be $12.50. Let's put a large in. So we've now got a large uh, canvas in and a medium one. So the price is still $12.50. But if we move that back out, so say to Alaska, then the price should be the large price plus this price here, the five dollars. We've got two of them. So we get thirty-four dollars, which is correct. Twenty-four plus ten. And that's it, it's as simple as that to, to um do your shipping. Uh this is the product matrix extension, um which is very popular and very configurable. I mean this is just one of the things that you can do. So come and have a look. If you want a personalised demo, let me know. Thank you.